Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. We nearly finished programming our game. Uh, now, just a couple of things. Uh, let's make it so that the let's make it so that we have some sort of scoring system. Okay, so um, let's go to go back to our game and. Um, Firstly, let's organize this a little bit better. So, we got all the events related to meteoroids in the meteoroids group. So, let's right click somewhere else, add, add a group, and let's call it bullets, all events related to bullets. Alright, and let's put the bullet events into it. So, click drag click drag you might need to click the edge of the event to drag it okay and um, actually this is related to bullets as well so put it in there okay so we classify them a little bit better and now we can have um, let's create a score score text box Alright, so go back to your level, go to the top left, and let's disable the gameplay layer. Let's enable the information layer and click the information layer. And let's double click on the screen and add another text uh, variable uh, object and call it score. Insert it, put it on the screen, change your font to a bit bigger 18 and change the color to green or blue or whatever you want okay and make it a bit bigger so initially we wanted to say score score okay and um, so every time we Let's say every time we destroy a meteoroid, we want to increase the score by 50. So every time the bullet touches the meteoroid, okay, we want to add an action. Actually, just before that, I need to add a global number called um, score. So right click, add another variable, score, and it's a number starting with zero and when the bullet collides with the meteoroid I'm going to add an action system add to score let's add a score of 50 every time you destroy a meteoroid and we also wanted to display on the text box so add an action to the score text and let's set the value of uh, sorry let's set the text set the text set the text to um, the score so it's still gonna say score so it's gonna say score uh, colon space quotation so this is what it's gonna say first and it's going to say the score variable let's type it again score variable okay so if you're not familiar with programming this notation might be a bit new to you but basically that we're gonna set the text to display the string score and the variable score so whatever number is inside that variable is gonna be displayed as well straight after the string score so if we click done okay and we run the game and we shoot some meteoroids all right it's going to add to the score all right it's adding to the score okay so um now we can use the score to make the game a little bit harder okay so uh, 
I'll get started with it and then you guys can modify it later but um, so let's create another let's do it outside of all of these events so click add event and I'm gonna set the condition that when the score so go to system compare variable when the score is bigger than or equal to let's say uh, 200 all right I'm going to make the game a little bit harder all right and I'm going to subtract one so system subtract from uh, the meteoroid respond rate subtract one from that okay but I don't want to subtract it I don't want to keep subtracting it because then it'll become really crazy so I'm gonna add another condition just below that add another condition when the um, when the meteoroid respawn is bigger than uh, let's say uh, 4 right so initially it's 5 initially the meteoroid respawn rate is 5 so as soon as the score gets over 200 right it's gonna satisfy both of these conditions so we'll subtract one so it'll respawn a lot faster now to make it more obvious I'm gonna make it subtract three right and you can see that right here so if I kill a few meteoroids destroy a few meteoroids when it gets to 200 um oh so two just went off the screen Let's... oh oh made my game a little bit harder than it is oh oh that was lucky All right because it just it just appeared so Uh, actually I think I made my game too hard I can't even can't even play it right anyway that's what you guys get the idea and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a high score system alright so I'm gonna add another event and I'm gonna say uh, if oh I gotta create the high score object as well. Uh, so go back to layout and in the information layer I'm going to insert another text box. Insert another text box, so double click text, click over here, and it's going to say high score. High score and um Let's go down to text and say high score uh, colon and then let's give it a bigger font give it another color okay give it another color Just make it I don't know and then um, go back to event sheet create another add another variable called high score and this is initially zero and let's add another event saying that if so compare variable if the 
high score uh, if the score variable is bigger than or equal to high score or is bigger than high score is greater than high score add another action set the high score variable Alright, add another action, set the high score variable to equal score. Alright, so what that means is if the score is bigger than the high score, then set the high score to score. And when we reset um, when we reset the game, we want it to also make the score go back to zero. So sets set score to zero um, what, what happened so when the R key is pressed add action system set value uh, score variable back to zero okay so if we play the game now what happens is we shoot the rock a couple of times and you can see the score increasing alright see the score increasing and um, so now the the rocks should generate a little bit faster now is it generating faster it should only yes it is generating a lot faster right and if you die Oh, it's not updating the high scores. So let's go back and edit that. So when the score is bigger than high score, uh, add action. Uh, let's set the high score text, set text to say high score colon space and whatever the high score variable is okay so let's test that out alright so see both of them are increasing All right but if you die so let me just restart the game Right, the score does it go back to zero? Yep, the score goes starts restarts from zero, and then if it gets over the high score again, then the high score is going to increase. Anyway, I think you guys have graduated from the beginner construct two course if you understand everything I've done so far. So I'll let you guys improve the game yourself. And see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.